y'all it's Debbie with the crafty diamond today I have an unboxing and I had to do it I just couldn't help myself I ended up splurging and I purchased snow castle and this was from diamond art club and it is the new Randall Spangler the one that is the largest now that diamond art club makes so when I heard that it was the largest, I thought, let me take a look at this bad boy and see if I like it. And of course I did. It is going to be a long one. I hope that it's going to have some color blocking in there. I don't want all color blocking because that will really be boring. But this is what it looks like on here. And it's hard to see. I'm going to show you a thumbnail. But this is 55.8 centimeters. And you may say to yourself, well, 55.8, that's not a very big size. No, that's not. But look at the length. It is 198 centimeters. 198 centimeters is approximately six and a half feet. I am five and barely 5.2 and I, my daughter is five feet two and a half inches and this is just way taller than us so anyway I, I went ahead and got it I did open this just to see how long it was I just I could not fathom how long this was so I went ahead opened it I had my daughter lay down next to it I did put that on Instagram I'll try to put that in here as well but I want to get the canvas and the box doesn't seem to be that large but then when you get the canvas you start unrolling and you're unrolling and you're unrolling and it just goes on and on and on but it's really pretty I'm not crazy about the draglings and so I don't really buy spanglers because of that but this one doesn't really focus on the draglings and I wanted something Christmassy. I thought Snow Castle, how pretty. And it's still unraveling. I'm gonna let this just hang off the table once I finally get to the end. And as I'm saying, it's still going. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna let that just hang off the side there for just a minute. And we'll get a little bit of this in frame at a time. But what I really liked, I thought the gazebo was really cute. There are two little draglings here. They have a fire pit. I love the trees here. I thought that would be really pretty. Maybe that would look a little better because it's kind of with that light. It is shining. I'm trying to move that around a little bit. I don't want it to be really dark, but I don't want the light to be the focus everybody's seeing. Then we have two trees here and a lot of this the bottom does look to be color blocking quite a bit of that and i don't know how i'm going to do this we'll figure this out i don't know how i'm going to diamond paint this i'm probably will just roll it up on some kind of a pool noodle or some kind of um, a pipe roll it that way as I'm working on it and then just unroll it as I get to certain sections but I'm going to just roll up this way try not to crinkle very much I don't know how I'm going to get this back in the box with the drills I am not going to start on this until next year I I have some goals and I thought what I'll do is to um, celebrate if I get whenever I get my goals I will start on this one because I really want to and the windows they look you know real it's like you can see light through the windows and then here's some of the castle some more trees a lot of this through here is going to be color blocky and then the castle keeps going and going and this is what i like about this is because the focus is on the castle and i i love castles so I thought that would be kind of cool. A lot of this on the, the background here is color blocking. So it may go faster than I think. But when I finish this, again, who knows? When I finish this, 
this will be the largest canvas that I've done lengthwise. Not width, but length. And then here is another dragon here, which is going towards the castle. And you can see the little face there. It's a dragon there. And then here's another dragon here. If you can see that, it's the bottom. And then what I like too is that we have a wizard. So there's a lot of magic going on here. There's some, I don't know where that came from. And um, there were some drills on there. I don't know what that is either. Anyway, there is a wizard here. So, so that would be a lot of fun. Then there's more color blocking up at the sky. And I will bling the sky up some. I don't, I'm not gonna do a lot of blinging up on this because that might take a really long time. But I thought this was really pretty. It's got a lot going on. It's really wintry. I would love to start on this in January. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm going to make this as a in the background kind of a um, project where I'll be working on this just whenever you know I get a chance to you know a square here and there. And I want to have it done by the end of next year is what the goal is. I don't know why I've gotten this so dirty. I had it on our carpet. It should not, our carpet's not that dirty. Anyway, so I wanted to show you the canvas first. I'm really excited about it. Also, what I want to show you is that Diamond Art Club just say, do what makes you sparkle at the top. And their canvas, it is pokey. It has scallops. It's stitched. So that way you um, are preventing the fraying. And 60 colors, you have your schematic here. And we'll go over that whenever I show you the stickers. And then I really do like their canvas. It's soft lint. And I like how their, I'll go back down here. I do like their cover. Their cover is not too thick and it's not too thin. And the sticky sounds really good. It doesn't appear to be too sticky. My other one that's large, Magic Potion, that one is extremely sticky. And I had to leave that one open for a little while. I am gonna start on that one. I'm gonna do Magic Potion first, and then I'm gonna do this one. But I thought this was so pretty. So let's look at, I don't know how I'm gonna put this on here without this falling. I'm gonna just put this on here just a little bit. Maybe it won't fall off on my table. Put something on it, that's good. So at least we have something to look at. I thought this was so pretty. And so let's look at the toolkit. Let's get all of this out here. But if you've been around for a while, you know that I'm always up for a good challenge. And I saw this and I thought, mm-hmm, challenge on. I'm going to do this one. We have several baggies if you like to put your drills in baggies. We do have some pink wax. We have some hearts here. There's two hearts here. If you use the pink wax, there should be plenty to do all of this. I don't typically use this wax except for my ABs. Make sure if you do use this pink wax that you take the plastic off so you can load your pen with it. Put that over here. Also, we have a pen. This one happens to be green. We also have a squishy, whoops, a squishy that matches. We have pokey tweezers. I really like their tweezers. They can get the top off here. I really don't want to poke myself. These, these tweezers are really good. Make sure though that you put this sheath on. If you don't, then you may stab yourself. We also have a white tray with the stopper already on it. And we have a cute little flower cover minder. I don't have this one. 
That's really pretty tulips it looks like. If you're not familiar with a cover minder, this just helps to hold your plastic back. If you like to keep the plastic on and not use release papers, we also have a couple of plastic multiplacers if you like to multiplace. And we have really pretty washi. Look at that. That's really pretty flowers. It's in plum. I like to use my washi around the edges because the edges do tend to be sticky. I want to keep this nice and clean and I do not want to have it you know, dirty on the side. So I will use my washi. Might even use this one. That's really pretty. So that is a toolkit. If you're not familiar with Diamond Art Club, you will receive everything that I showed you in the toolkit. It just may not be those exact items, but um, there will be items like it. So for instance, you may not receive the same washi that I did, but you will receive washi. So now let's look at our sticker sheet. The sticker sheet here, it does show the thumbnail, which I will cut this and I will put this in my logbook. It gives you the information here, Snow Castle by Randall Spangler. Also gives you the dimensions here. And then these are already cut for you. And like I said, there are 60 colors in this kit. And I really do like how they do their stickers. And if you put these on containers, I have found that these do not stick enough to where they're not going to be permanent. I've had some others. I have had to fight on some of my containers and it's been really frustrating. But for this one, I, um, I don't have to worry about my containers. I know they're going to come off okay. And I'm not sure what containers I'm going to use for this. More than likely, I will go ahead and I will use my Elizabeth Ward once I have some available. I'm trying to see if there are any symbols that might give me any issues. We have one through five and that is one through five. So that's good. And I don't see where we have a B and if we did, we don't have an eight. So that's good. There's nothing on here that I see that could give me any issues. There have been some symbols lately that I'm like, what, why would they do that? Um, but, on these, the symbols look really good, which is very thankful considering that this is so large. So let's take a look at all of our drills. There's a lot of drills. When I got this in, the box was really heavy. So we have two sets of drills here. That's when you know it's a big one. And then also I have this small sticker. I will put this on the end of my box. So that way when I go to pull it, I know exactly what is in there. I'm not going to go through all of these because this would take absolutely forever. But I want to show you the ABs or the special drills that we have in here. I have not opened this, so I don't know how many is in here. But I saw that someone else had already kitted this up and they stated there was 111 bags of drills. 111. That's a lot, a lot of drills. So that's going to be quite interesting. This does not have any three tens and three tens are black. I think every kit just about has three tens. So that is quite interesting that there are no three tens in this huge kit. That's kind of nice to know. For our special drills, we have one, two, three, three ABs. And then we're going to have two special drills. And I think these are the fairy dust. I'm going to look at those. I really, let's see. I'm going to go ahead, open these, and I'll be right back. It's going to be a lot of crinkling. Okay, here is one of the ABs. This is 125. I glanced through on both of these. I'm not taking all of these out of here because I know me and I know me way too well. If I take this bag of drills out of here, look how tight that they are. I will never get these back in. I just know 
how I roll. I will not get these back in as tight as this is. I want to put everything back in the box so that way it's all together. So what I'm going to do is that whenever I do go to kit this up and it's probably going to be early part of January, then I am going to kit it up on my channel and you will be able to see all of the colors. But this one was the main one I wanted to show you guys. This is 125 and this is going to be all of the snow and the areas here um, that is going to resemble the snow. All of the ones here that's on the roof, the roofs here, anything that you see a white, all of those are going to be this AB. All of this through here, that is the AB. There's a little wrinkle there. That'll pan out. And then all of the ones that's through here on the trees, that's going to be A1. And then just a couple of those that's part of the little fire that's going up will be part of the snow. All of this on this side of this tree, that's going to all be this AB. And there are two big bags of this. So that should be plenty. And I might end up bringing this up, but it's so large, I may just concentrate on the drills that I have, the drills that came with it. Maybe add a couple more drills. I know that some of the other drills here, the ABs are going to go in the windows, so they're going to glow. But I am really excited to work on this. Um, it may, like I said, it may be later that I start than January. I'd like to go ahead and at least get it kitted up. But I, I want to have Magic Potion at least half finished because I do not want to have two huge campuses that I'm working on at the same time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the like button. And if you haven't done so, um, please just consider subscribing to my channel. I think that you would like it here and you will also be able to be informed of future content. Hope you have a great rest of your day and until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.